So we're always looking for new new people to come in and um, and learn to curl, whether they have curled before or whether they're coming from uh, other communities. Uh, so we have had a uh, a registration night last uh, Monday night, the tenth, and uh, there was encouraging signs of people that were new curlers coming coming uh, here that wishing to curl. So while the club in its total has probably been relatively uh, stable in terms of their total numbers, <coughs> I think that one of the changes that's been happening is that our average age seems to be going down a bit, which is encouraging for the long-term future of it. Our next uh, evening for uh, registration will be uh, September the 24th here at the Curling Club. So we invite uh, people to uh, come down, uh, use that opportunity, uh, speak to people. There are many different leagues uh, from uh, women's own te uh, only teams to men only teams to mixed teams. Uh, to youth curling, um, to uh, more competitive uh, curling that, that, that we have within the club. And I guess finally is that uh, we have teamed up with the town of Gravenhurst to have a learn to curl, so a registration for learn to curl is through them, uh, through the town, and people for the four Sundays of, of November uh, come out, uh, there are uh, coaches that will be here to assist all of the new curlers in learning about uh, the different uh, things that are involved with the sport. Uh, and then after that, we encourage them to join a league, uh, get to know some of the people uh, that are with the club. They will gently uh, assist you in, in uh, feeling comfortable. And, and curling is also a social sport. It is about getting to know people, getting to work with people, and, and relaxing uh, together afterwards.